What, our next guest is Amelia Kern. Um, many of you may know her, but she's a celebrated singer-songwriter, and she's been on an incredible journey. I'm sure she's got an incredible journey ahead of her. And she's very passionate about mental wellness, mental, mental health, and she's produced um, an anti-stigma video. Um, so before she comes up, we're just gonna share that with you guys. And we'll show that now. Hi, everybody. I'm Amelia. Sorry, I didn't know if I should just go for it or what, but I'm... <laughs> um, so, I'll tell you about making that video. I didn't really know what, what was gonna happen. All I wanted to do was sort of share my story um, because I underestimated how important it was to share my story. Um, I went to the Canada Mental Health Association here in St. John's and I said, I would like to share my story. Is that helpful? How can I do that? And I learned that the system is broken and I had not known that before because I had the good luck of walking into a, the office of a general practitioner who listened to me. Um, the idea that my experience was good luck is, is insulting um, and terrifying. Um, but I'm gonna tell you a story about my friend Robin. When I first moved to Halifax, I was, uh, it was in the early 2000s, and I had this roommate, Robin. She was fantastic, she was a painter, she was from New Brunswick. Um, she suffered from depression and anxiety, and we did not know that at the time. She, uh, she was desperately looking for a diagnosis and for someone to listen to her, and we did not know that at the time. I remember her coming home crying on one occasion because a doctor told her to grow up. And uh, she didn't know what to do. On another occasion, and, and I learned this just recently, her mother told me, on another occasion, a, an emergency room worker reported that this young lady is looking for a magical answer to her poor mood and lack of energy. And this is not really that long ago. It's 10 years, maybe 12 years ago. Um, and this is the really, really, really dangerous effect of stigma and of not listening. Um, because as you've probably gathered, Robin died. She, she jumped off a cliff into a body of water and she died. And she didn't die of suicide, she died of a mental illness because it was fatal. And it went untreated and it went undiagnosed and we didn't know how to talk about it. We didn't know. She disappeared, I thought she went to New Brunswick to visit her family, so a couple days went by when I thought she was in St. John, New Brunswick. I heard about her death on the radio. This report was coming through and it was saying, the body of a young woman has been found. Police are looking for her identity. And I remember sitting in a room with another friend and we just knew, we just kind of knew. I had to collect photographs I had to go down to the police station. Later, a police officer picked me up at my house. I had to go to the morgue, and I had to identify her body. I had to phone her mother and tell her that Robin was dead. And it all happened because we did not know how to talk about it. And I guarantee you, and I think about it all the time, not just Robin, but some other friends I've had who've passed away. I guarantee you, if we knew how to talk about it like you're learning how to talk about it now, she would still be alive. I guarantee it. So I need you to keep doing this. I need you to, because I have depression and I have anxiety and I don't want to die from that. And I'm afraid that one of these days it's going to come and it's going to take me over. And I don't want that to happen. 
And the thing that's keeping me alive is being able to talk about it. And the thing that's keeping me alive is knowing that there's a lot of empathy in this room and that I can talk about it. And I'm really, really tired of going to funerals and that's why I started talking about it. So, thank you. I'm really, really proud of you. And I think you're really, really powerful. And things that begin here in a room like this saves lives, it saves lives. So I need you to keep doing it, please. <laughs> that's, I think that's all you're gonna get from me, but I think we're gonna show you one more video. Is that gonna happen? Um, the thing that allows me to talk about it as well is I have, I have this music career. I've been playing music for 15 years and I have a little bit of a platform <laughs> and I'm trying to use it for good and not for evil. Um, so my friend Roger and I made another music video and this is, you know, it's the music industry. It's, it's to promote music, but uh, this story is gonna be in everything in everything because, uh, because I cannot stop talking and neither can you. So I hope that that is ready. Like the harbor sings through the concrete Like the highway rolls in your childhood dreams I'm a wild abandoned